Seed, a startup that has been in stealth now for some time, is launching today to take on the online banking space for businesses. I'm here with Brian Merritt, co-founder and CEO of Seed, and uh, it's a big day. You're kind of coming out of the shadows. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're announcing uh, our existence today uh, and have launched our website where people can sign up for to apply for membership. And so basically, you're not launching a formal product itself, you're launching the API so people can then use your banking service through their own backend technology. Exactly. You know, we have to build the API first ourselves to build our clients, mobile and web clients, on top of it. Uh, there's an enormous amount of demand for uh, API banking. Um, we've had many, many, many customer conversations, and people have been begging for it. Uh, and the industry has been you know, sort of begging for it for a while. So, uh, while it's a non-traditional uh, bank in the sense that most people don't know what the hell an API is. True. For those people that do, um, we felt that releasing the API as soon as possible would allow them, allow them to start working with it and uh, you know, allow us to improve it and make sure that we're serving their customers the best way possible. So there are a lot of banks that have online components. There's even I think, some online banks, and there are also business banks. So you're kind of bringing us all together. What's the specific problem you're really trying to tackle with Seed? The bottom line is that we're dedicated to making it as easy as possible to start and manage a business. So. Existing banks make it unnecessarily difficult with bad fee structures, bad technology, and poor service. And we want to use design, technology, and service to save time and money and help business owners just you know, manage their businesses more easily. Can you afford to charge lower fees or have a better fee scale and still be profitable? Uh, we believe so, absolutely. You know, we're taking a SaaS pricing model where you know, we'll have flat fees in most cases for most customers instead of transaction-based fees. So for example, we offer free ACH, free wires, and uh, very inexpensive international payments compared to our competitors. Most banks, you know, they charge up to 50 bucks for a wire. You could pay up to 6% for an international payment, uh, which is a huge pay pain huge, point yeah. for uh, especially startups that have distributed workforces, distributed vendors. Um, and they're some of the folks that have, have reached out to us sort of asking if, if they can, can get on board. So if I currently use, let's say, Silicon Valley Bank, and I switch to you guys down the road when you're fully launching, would I save money on a monthly basis? Uh, we hope so, certainly. You know, the challenge that we have is that existing banks have fee structures that even their own customers can't understand, let alone somebody on the outside. So you know, we talk to customers, ask them how much they pay for banking. Most of them don't know. Um, when they go and look, they say, oh, well, hey, there's these transaction fees here, and this online <laughs> banking fee there, and there's a statement fee of $3 there, and if I call, call somebody, it costs me 5 bucks, and so... You know, we think that we can give a flat price that's transparent and so you have consistency month to month. And within that pricing, you know, we'll offer as many free services as we can uh, within limits, obviously. You know, if right. you have you to make a million transactions or something, then maybe you will have to put you in a, a higher tier. But, but to um, confirm, though, you're, you're launching the API today, and then you're going to build your own clients on top of them. So yeah, we're if, if, I, if I don't know how to program, I won't have to always be able to do that to use your service. Our existing product is not going to be useful to you if you're a business without programmers or you don't want to work with programmers. Mm -hmm. um, and most businesses you know, will never know what an API is. They never, never will care, and that's great. But the customers that want it, we want to put it in their hands as soon as possible. Right. But we're actively working on our mobile and web clients today, and they'll be released as soon as possible. And give me some, some feeling here. As soon as possible could mean a week, could mean a year. Like what's the general time frame? Uh, it's hard to say. You know, it depends upon um, hiring and a lot of other factors. You know, we hope to be able to uh, launch at least the sort of early versions of our clients within the next three to six months. Thanks for coming in, and we will see you at uh, Demo Day. Thanks very much. Thanks for having me.